Hi friends, I'm Ron Strong and I'm here with my friends from Annie's to bring you a really fun, easy, quick crochet tutorial. Today we're going to be stitching up the Wee Bobbles washcloth. Now this pattern was designed by Darla Sims and it couldn't be easier. All you're going to need is a 5mm H8 crochet hook. You'll need a ball of worsted weight cotton yarn. You can use your favorite brand. Um, today I'm just using something I had in my stash. You'll need some um, scissors and you'll need a tapestry needle to weave in ends, obviously, at the end. So let's talk about um, how this is stitched up. So as you can see, I'm a little sample here. I still have my yarn attached, but I crocheted this up so quickly. And it's got this really great texture that are all these little bobs. But here's the secret. They're not bobbles at all. We're just going to work with different stitch heights to create this really cool nubby effect, we'll call it. It's actually really, really simple. And when I say it works out fast, I did this in one episode of my favorite TV show. So this took me about 40 minutes from start to finish. So I'm going to grab my yarn. And let's see if I can find the center. <gasps> you guys, look. Oh my goodness. When does that happen? It was just out there waiting for me. I didn't even get it ready beforehand. Trust me, I'm not that prepared. <laughs> so before we get started, you can find the link to this free downloadable pattern in the description below. While you're there, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the Annie's YouTube channel for more crafty content. All right, so to get started, we just need to put a slip knot on our hook. You can do that your favorite way. First, we're going to chain 28. So one, two, three, four, five. So once we have our 28 chains, we're just going to simply insert our hook into the second chain from the hook and pull up a loop and then yarn over pull through two to work our first single crochet. Then we'll single crochet in each stitch across for a total of 27 single crochets. So after you've worked single crochets in each of your chains, when we get to the end, we're simply going to chain one and turn our work. This is going to start our first, um, our first pattern row. So for that, we're going to single crochet into our first stitch. Then into our next stitch, we're going to work a triple crochet. So to do that, we wrap the yarn around our hook twice and we insert it into our next stitch and pull up a loop. We'll have four loops on our hook at this point. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Into the next stitch, we'll work a single crochet. Now, if you're a little eagle-eyed like I am and you turn it over, you'll notice that we've already pushed that triple crochet to the front. So we'll yarn over our hook twice, insert it into the next stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Into the next stitch after that, we'll pull up a loop and just work a single crochet. And that's all there is to this pattern row. We're going to alternate triple crochets and single crochets all the way across the row. Those triple crochets are forced to pop out because we're working single crochets before and after each of them. The difference in stitch height means that those stitches are just kind of forced to... to kind of go somewhere. And so they pop out and they create those little nubs, which creates our little wee bobbles, which is the name of the pattern. Cool, right? It's actually really simple to do. I liked this. And while I was working this up, I thought this would be a great um, pattern worked up in those scrubby yarns that are out on the market now. Um, I think that would be great for this because you would get some really cool texture, not just from the triple crochets and the single crochets, but also from the yarn itself because it's like a polyester yarn, right? So it's really rough or it's nylon, something like that. So I'm going to keep going all the way across, alternating my triple crochets and single crochets. And you should end, your very last stitch should be a single crochet. Then we'll chain one and turn our work and you'll be able to see all those triple crochets popped out there. And all we're going to do is single crochet across. 
And that's it, friends. That's our two row repeat. So what you'll continue to do, and I'm gonna pull in my sample over here, is just alternate those two rows. You'll work a row of triples and singles, then you'll turn and single crochet across. You'll turn again and work your triples and singles. And when you're finished, you'll have a piece that looks like this, and it's got all these beautiful little nubs on it. Now, after you have completed all the rows, the pattern is going to instruct you to work a row of, or a round, I should say, of single crochet all the way around your work. Then you'll work another round of single crochet, okay? But one thing I did wanna show you was that there's a really pretty kind of pico slip stitch border. Now, I wouldn't normally add those to my washcloths because they just don't strike my fancy, if you will, <laughs> but, I know a lot of people love them, so I wanted to show you how to work those. So to begin your pico border, you're going to simply work a single crochet, a chain one and a single crochet into the same stitch. Then you'll chain three and slip stitch into the third chain from the hook. And we're gonna do that two more times. So chain three, slip stitch into the third chain from the hook, chain three, slip stitch into the third chain from the hook. Then we're going to single crochet in each of the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. Then we'll do that again. So chain three, slip stitch into the third chain, chain three, slip stitch into the third chain, chain three, and slip stitch into the third chain. Then single crochet in each of the next four stitches. You'll repeat this all the way around the entirety of your afghan. You're gonna repeat this all the way around the entirety of your washcloth, getting these beautiful little pico edges and then when you're done, you'll just join it to your first single crochet. You'll fasten off your yarn, weave in all your ends, and that's all there is. I hope you enjoyed this quick little fun tutorial of the Wee Bobbles washcloth designed by Darla Sims. I had a lot of fun making this. I'm planning on making a couple more. I really hope you do too. Make sure you leave a comment down below if you like this pattern and some other patterns that you'd like us to stitch up here on the Annie's YouTube channel. While you're there, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the like button. So, you know, I see that you guys like this video. Until next time, I'm Ron Strong with Annie's and uh, have a lot, a lot of happy stitching. Bye guys.